Uh, yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Carter Fabian back with another video. And today I have a different kind of video for you guys, and it's a tutorial for those who have a Radeon GPU. For those who are kind of new, a while ago I got my first PC. When I got it, I decided to do an unboxing. That video like did really good. A lot of people who are watching this video and who are subscribed are here because of that video. A lot of you guys wondering how oh, my clips were such good quality. A bunch of people who are watching this video, you probably have the same PC I do. If you don't have the same PC I have, you're probably watching it because you have a Radeon GPU. Sorry, NVIDIA users, I am going to be showing people with a Radeon graphics card how to clip in the best setting and optimize to boost FPS in games. If you guys like these videos and want more in the future, not on on how to optimize your PC, make sure you leave a like and comment below, as well as subscribe with post notifications on. But enough talk, let's get right into the video. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is you probably know how to get the Radeon software. It should come like pre-installed if you got a pre-built. If you had built your PC, then you probably had to install the drivers and stuff. All you wanna do is right click on the desktop, hit AMD Radeon software, and this should come up. First thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure it's up to date. Here's the home page. This is nothing important. This is how you can, you know, take a screenshot or record a video. There's a lot easier way, as you'll see a little bit into the video. But what you wanna do is you want to go to the gaming tab and then go to global graphics. So here's what we'll be starting. You want to make sure anti-lag is enabled. Um, it just reduces the input lag and it makes, you know, just it feel a lot more like responsive when you're playing games and stuff like that. And then make sure that Radeon Chill is off because then you get a FPS loss. You can't have anti-lag and boost on at the same time. And anti-lag is more better in my opinion. The image sharp sharpening I have enabled and I just have it to 80% advanced. I don't really think I changed anything here. Uh, that's all the graphic settings. Now we can go to display. I have three monitors so I have three displays but you should see one and uh, if you if your monitor uh, is compatible with AMD FreeSync you definitely want to make sure it's uh, on. I think only one of my monitors yeah only one of my monitors is compatible so make sure that's enabled it'll make your game look a lot better. Custom color here is where kind of like the graphics and color of what the game and like your monitor looks like using these settings it makes the game look a lot more vibrant so i use these settings brightness negative five hue zero contrast 140 and saturation 175 you could use those depending on what game you play it might look different so just play around with them that's what i did and you know do which one looks best with your monitor and your game custom resolution if you want to play on stretched that's everything for the display tab now we can go to video nothing really your hotkeys here is what will make clipping and recording a lot easier. I customized my hotkeys and to save an instant replay, I just have to hold Control, Alt, and G on my keyboard and it will clip the last 15 seconds or whatever. And then you could also bind new ones for, you know, screenshots and GIFs and in-game replays. Save instant replay is clipping and stuff, so you want to make sure you have something bind that's easy to access on your keyboard. You don't want it like one letter or like one bind on your keyboard because then if you accidentally press it when, while you're playing your game, then it'll clip. You can just customize all these. It's all your preference general okay here is like the clipping part the media save location is where when you clip and record this is where it will save to so i just made a new folder on my hard drive which has a lot more storage and i don't want you know my clips taking up storage on my main drive because then i have less space for games and then what you could do is you could just you know select it here you want to make sure instant replay is enabled that's what the clip is and the instant replay duration i have it set to 15 seconds for two reasons it uses the uh, least storage and also when i'm editing in my editing software i don't have to delete as much before the kill if you're looking just to make like montages and highlights i recommend having this either 15 or 30 seconds if you want to you know clip a, like a whole game i recommend setting this all the way to 20. it will take up a lot of storage but um you know it'll clip the whole game but if you only want little parts i recommend setting it to 15 or 30. instant replay buffer not so sure what that is i just have it on disk storage uh instant gif i have that disabled because you know i don't really use that in game replay again i don't really know what that is either so i have it disabled audio capture device is just my mic um and then video capture is my webcam i don't use radeon to record as much i usually use um obs but to clip you know in game replays this is what i use down to recording record desktop enabled uh, show indicator the indicator is the thing in the left corner it just shows which display it's recording i usually have it on because sometimes it will switch to record on the second monitor where my game isn't and that's just super annoying borderless region capture on uh recording resolution make sure that's in game 
Recording FPS, this is the most important thing to having good quality clips. Make sure it's set to 60 FPS. 30 FPS is not as good. 60 FPS looks a lot cleaner and better quality. And when you're editing, also make sure you render in 60 FPS. Video quality type, AVC. Video bitrate, I just have it set to 33. I think that's just the default. And this is all just like non-important stuff. You could live stream using the Radeon uh, software, but you know, OBS is usually the move because you can't have like overlays or anything. Back up to the top performance. Uh, you could just copy all these. They're not very important, I don't think. Um, I haven't really optimized them at all. Yeah, and these are like all the important settings that I really optimize to boost my FPS and you know, have good clipping quality. There's nothing really else. That's gonna do it for the video. It was pretty short. If you have any questions, make sure to comment below and I'll try to respond as soon as possible. Hopefully this helps you get better quality clips and get boost your FPS a little bit. I'm planning on making a video focusing on just how to boost your FPS. Whole PC, not just the Radiant software. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace out.